Hello tech enthusiasts! Today we are diving into the powerful tool in the IT professional's arsenal, and that's PowerShell. Specifically, we'll explore how to efficiently install and uninstall MSI packages, making software deployment a breeze call across multiple systems. Whether you are a system administrator or an IT guru, mastering these techniques will elevate your software management game. So let's get started. Now, installing an MSI package through PowerShell, it's a straightforward process with the start process commandlet. This commandlet kicks off the installation of your MSI file without hassle. So if we have a look over here, if I open up my PowerShell eyes and open a new script, actually uh, to install an MSI, we can usually use this as mentioned, start process. Then you will just type start process MSI exec.dxe and then the arguments list is the actual command line, right? So if we are, if we would have done this in CMD, it would look something like this slash i your msi slash qn or whatever else right uh, apart from that another parameter which is important to set is the wait parameter because we need to wait for the msi to be installed and the process to finish before we continue on doing other system configurations within the script. Now, let's elevate our game with PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, which simplifies the installation process with custom functions and enhanced user interactions. With PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, you can wrap installations in a PowerShell script, adding features like deferring installation or displaying custom messages. It's a game changer for IT professionals and PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit can be downloaded online. Uh, I think we have multiple blogs regarding this, how you can download and uh, do some first steps uh, of initiation. Then if we go into our toolkit, we can edit our deploy application.ps1 and deploy application.ps1 has actually three steps. Uh, one is the pre-install, then the installation and the uninstallation. So here it says, please perform your installation tasks here. With PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, it's easy because we have an additional uh, function called execute MSI. So for example, we can paste this here. Execute MSI, the action of this will be to install and path would be orca.msi. Now, with PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, each and every MSI that you want to install must be placed inside the files folder. For example, if I put my example application.msi, I can put it here in my files, and then in my code, I will just write example application.msi. Then, in the post installation phase, we do nothing. Then, in the uninstallation phase, we can actually do again the execute MSI action uninstall and the path would be our product code. Now for this application to get the product code, we open it in advanced installer, go to product details, product ID, get the product code, copy paste, there we go, and we paste it here. We can save this script and if we want, Let's elevate our terminal, run as administrator, and we can run it from here. I can actually change the directory to here. And from here, I can run the PS1, or you can directly run your deploy application.exe, which will launch your PS1, right? So, Let's say we run our PS1 and this is how it will look like. Everything will be minimized and of course I didn't configure anything else, right? Uh, your company, example application, you can just defer, remaining defers, I can continue or I can defer. If you want I can continue but in this case I will defer. And everything will pop up back in place and the script will finish. Uninstalling MSI packages is just as flexible with PowerShell, uh, but we need to leverage the get WMI object commandlet. 
Now for this example, we are going to use the WMI to uninstall MSI packages and with this we can automate the removal of software ensuring a clean and consistent system environment. Now this script that I'm going to show here, this script locates and uninstalls an application by its name. So for example, what are we doing here? Now in the app variable, we are getting the WMI object with this class here, Winter32 project, and we are searching if we find anything in the name which matches example app. Now, let me see here in the product details. Actually, I can put example application. And if it's not null, then that particular class has a method of uninstalling. So if this is not null, so that particular application exists, we state that we need to uninstall it, else we write that the application is not found. For example, if we want to have a look, let's install the application with PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit and let's uninstall it with our custom script via VMI and the application installation started and now it finished. So now we should have our application installed and if we run here, ah, and of course we will receive an error that it cannot be uninstalled because we are running PowerShell ICE without administrator privileges. So let me open up PowerShell ICE with administrator privileges. I'm going to copy paste the code and hit it again. And there you go. Our return value is zero. That means if we go here and search for example application. Yep, we don't have the application installed. This has been successfully uninstalled by using the get WMI object or by using VMI features. If you want to uninstall an application by using PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, everything that you need to do is just use the PS1 or DXC. Then we will use the deployment type And we will say that this is the uninstall. Of course, this will fail because the application is not installed. The uninstallation will start and everything is fine. There you have it. With PowerShell and PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit, you are well equipped to handle MSI installations and uninstallations like a professional. These tools not only streamline the process, but also offer the precision and control needed in a professional IT environment. Explore, experiment, and elevate your skills. For more tech tips and tricks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, keep automating and simplifying your IT tasks. Bye bye.